These two hives are weak. They were made from s splits back in August, and just for some reason, their numbers haven't been increasing. And I inspected them yesterday, came back about an hour later and saw that they were being robbed. So, I googled how to, how to uh, make robbing screens. Didn't really get anything too helpful, just a bunch of pictures. And so I went from the pictures and kind of made something up of my own, which looks like everything else almost. But anyway, so obviously that was the first one I made. This was the second. And I got some uh, wood called, uh, I think it's furring wood or something, I don't know. It's 97 cent for like an eight foot long piece. Um, it's real rough. Basically what I did is I, this is this is window screen this is a uh, number 506 staples um, I basically just cut a width of the wood the length of the of the hive and then I took two two uh, long pieces right here and as you can see I kind of didn't really know what I was doing over here so it's really long they don't need to be that tall. This is maybe five inches or so. That's perfect. Still got plenty of room for the handholds. Anyway, five inches here and there. This is just shy of 15 or right at 15, I believe. My hives are from Man Lake. Um, everybody's hives measurements will differ depending on where you get them from. So, window screen here and I took the length or the tall pieces and nailed them as you can see right there to the long piece and then stapled my screen on it flipped it around and put this in front of it and stapled the screen to the back of that because otherwise you have this over here which is a bunch of loose screen and I don't know how forceful the bees can get but they could probably get through it if they wanted. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this one and redo it. But uh, so far, it looks like it's doing good. These hives are both being robbed out, and yeah, some of the foragers are coming back, and I don't really know what the hell's going on. But they'll figure it out. My main concern was um, stop the hives from being robbed from my two main hives, and also as you can see here, some of them have figured out. Hey, entrance holes right here. I just took a. Uh, little jigsaw and cut out that entrance hole. I recommend doing that uh, before you assemble it all otherwise it's kind of dangerous. But um, if you'd like to ask me any questions on how I built these other than what I said in the video just ask and I'll be happy to help if I can.